<laughs> and we'll make a PR out of that. Yeah. That was beside his the best map. <laughs> I, I best could be player. top 15 in Canyon, right. I think. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, you know what? I I've seen I haven't seen a Tentacle against uh, JJ in a quite a long time, but I do remember this matchup coming uh, quite a bit, came quite a bit here to hit point. I want to say I've se I've definitely seen this matchup quite a few times. Yeah. Um, I tried to uh, I remember this is like in like the maybe spring slash summer. Uh, we had a man um, the man of the legend uh, McNene Yumu, mm. um, who I tried to has beaten multiple times before, and he's one of our probably. Our second best city Kong in the state, I would argue. Yeah. Um, sorry, I got sick a little bit, but you see JJ right now. I mean, JJ is just a strong player in general. Yeah. So you gotta be careful if you're, I mean, Ness, or sorry, Kata. But something that I find interesting about this matchup mm -hmm. is that, like, I feel that if you just take away Banana from Diddy, there's not a lot you can do because you can just kind of use. Um, whatever projectiles, mm -hmm. you, you know your side you don't have to necessarily use your aerials. Yeah. You try to use your um, side you trip on with mana, add some extra damage there. Yeah. Don't get them out of there. I think, just went from there. I think in the end it depends a lot on what your mindset is when you're yeah. playing Ness, because cause Ness definitely has two modes. He's got like, he's gonna try to fair you a lot, and he's gonna try to like fair you and maybe like grab and do stuff with that and yeah. like near you. Or he's gonna try to space you out. I, I think against JJ's Diddy, you gotta try to be like, you gotta try to be close combat. Just do these jab blocks a little bit. Yeah. Because I think spacing out JJ, he's so good at getting around all of these like tools that um, Ness has. So uh, we'll see if Akad is a bit more aggressive when it comes to JJ's Diddy. Yeah. With the banana. <laughs> The best down tilt in the game. I love Ness's down tilt so much. Oh my goodness. Actually, you know what? I've lied. Lucas has the best. He just tilt whirls. <laughs> I was scared. I was frightened for a second. Yeah. So, we've seen a lot of. Um, when Ness goes off stage, um, JJ has really been pressuring him super hard, trying to fish out like any sort of. Uh, Missed opportunity by uh, Tata to use, use PK in the wrong situation and um, maybe capitalize off that. But I mean, for the most part, Tata has been pretty good so far for his recovery. Um, um, yeah, something that I've uh, been noticing about Tata, and, or at least Jake has been doing it, uh, he's been trying to get, like, because with the uh, Nesses of the, you can actually clip the ball of lightning yeah. to get rid of it. And you've been seeing JJ Tiger River that like just there, like he had the peanuts, he's been trying to drop the banana. And, I mean this is a scary place for JJ because Diddy Kong, I mean, as good as he Diddy Kong is, yeah. I mean, it can be kinda of hard uh, sometimes to secure a stock unlike there and obviously he doesn't have two of them. I think in my opinion, Diddy does rely on a little bit of rage sometimes to get like the, the kills. Yeah. You gotta be wary of that. Well what I liked in that situation is that when uh Atata was at lower percentages, uh, JJ opted to try to go out and uh, gimp Atata a little more, but once he realized that Atata was like at 160%, he was like, okay, I could just do regular edge guard things and you're probably yeah. going to die, so. Back on to game two here in Winner. Winner. Oh my god, that was... <laughs> oh my god, that was nuts, that was five seconds, <laughs> that was five seconds. JJ rock. <laughs> Oh my! Like, what do you do when a what do you do when a like a chimp comes at you so fast and just dunks you off state? Like, there's nothing. You have no answer. I need a wiki how for that. <laughs> <laughs> we got the jab block. <laughs> That's so that a weird way to end the jab block. Well, so that, the reason why he was doing that is because he was trying to uh, catch JJ's um, jump, and then if JJ fell uh, out of the barrel, okay. he, he would have actually not caught him and he would have died. Right. Yeah. So, just, a of there. so, it was optimal if he got it, but yeah. I, you put him for me to go for a force master, obviously try to get him off stage, try to get his recovery a bit a different way. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a couple things you could have done there, but I like the option that you went for. Yeah, when you're playing it, when you're playing from behind by so much right now, uh, doing anything you can to try to knock out your opponent a little earlier. Oh, those recoveries, oh my, the barrels are just <laughs> flying everywhere, and the grand right into an up air. <laughs> Oh my goodness, but uh, you know, Atena's got a pretty, it's a, 63 is not too bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Right I mean, with um, a character like Ness, like, you have, again, like, you have your combo first, it's kind of just reading the combo of the DI, you know, you have to go maybe up, you might have to go forward, kind of depends. Um, 
but yeah, uh, easily, easily gaining that back. And again, starting belt percent now. And I mean, he got 108, sure, but like, did he call it? I mean, again, small, you have way bigger uh, ceiling at this point and uh, bigger sides. Yeah. So, ooh, ooh. but a four smash will definitely do that. Yeah. Ran right into the last, like the last punch from this four smash. JJ. 